Welcome back to another episode of Transmission Parts ID. This week we're going to be covering some of the bell housings for GM. First of all, we used to have these old 350s and they'd have a case similar to this for Chevrolet. And for the Buick Pontiac Olds, you'd know it, it would go down like like this have the wide bolt holes and up like this for the chevrolet this is a unicase or multi-case we called it and that's the 350 would have that multi-case or it would have the chevrolet case or it would have the bpo or bop buick pontiac olds case and of course we had the 700s, the V8 case for the 700s, and this is the V8 passenger car, two-wheel drive, and you notice we had the little holes right here for the center passenger car dust cover. Then the 700s would also have the V6, the smaller V6, not the 4.3, the 4.3 would bolt up to this V8 case. You'd have the small V6 and the little 2.2 liter four cylinders would bolt up to this. We call the flat top. These are 700s because you can see it has the little, the small electrical connector here, small electrical connector, and the place for the, the cable to go in. Those were your 700 R4s and your 350s. You get along right 91 to 93, you had both the 4L60Es with the big plug and the 700 R4s in 91 through 93. Now you can see that both of these little truck 2.2 liter transmission cases have the flat top for the small V6 and the 2.2 liter, but since these are truck, when you look for the dust shield, it'll have the big holes, six of them instead of four. And that would allow you to bolt up the thicker aluminum mud cover for the pickup trucks. Now here we have a V8 4L60E. Oh, and Dakota's coming to make sure that we're working right. And she's doing her dog yoga. Yeah, there's Dakota. There's Dakota. She wants to learn transmissions too. Now, this V8 is also a truck. Has those big holes for the big heavy duty dust cover. The big hole for the... Yeah, I know. And... Like I said, from 91 to 93, they started using these. These are the V8 Bell. And then they went to 96, 97, they started using these, which is a bolt-on Bell, two-piece case. And bolt-on Bell, two-piece case. Let me get this over here where you can see it. For the V6s and the, sm the small V6s because again the 4.3 V6 used that just like a V8 but the smaller V6s 2.8s and stuff like that and the 2.2 liter four cylinder would use this right here which you'll notice is another version of the flat top the starter holes in a different place looks different than this now but it still has that flat top well now we've got quite a few different bell housings here but we're not done yet because there's a couple here that I don't have well I have the round one it's in my Corvette over there but we're not taking that out I'll just show you a picture of it here it's round like that. Now that's 97 through 98 Corvette. There's more of them. 
Yeah, but wait, there's more. <laughs> this bell right here, you'll notice, is round down here. There's another version of this that's kind of flat across the bottom. Other than that, it still looks like this. And But wait, there's more. In the Chevy Colorados, in the late 90s, you have two different bell housings for those with a starter hole in the position here at one o'clock instead of down here. And the second one that comes to Colorado, the starter hole position is here in the two o'clock position. So that's two more bell housings that we don't have here besides the Corvette. So you kind of look at this, you look and you've got that many different Chevrolet bell housings. One, two, three, four, five, six, at least six different bell housings here. And then three more that we don't have here to look at. So if you're looking at those other YouTube videos and oh, I, wait, wait, even another one. We have another one like this. I almost forgot to tell you about the 4T65E. We'll have an extra bolt hole at the top right here. And again, the starter's in a little bit different position over here and it doesn't have this hole right here. That'll be for the 4T65E. So, like I said, you're looking at these other YouTube videos. They're showing you the differences in the bell housings and stuff. And they show you like three, maybe four bell housings. Whoo! You know, I don't even know that I've got all the bell housings here. And this doesn't even include, get, you get up to 2004, 2006, there may be some more. So be careful and do your homework. This blows the myth of wonderful interchangeability of Chevrolet out of the water. Now, get off the couch and get dirty. Till next week, we'll bring you more then. And I almost forgot to show you guys the difference between these two. They all look the same, don't they? And then you dip this up, you notice they're both for four-wheel drive trucks, and they have the mounting holes for the four-wheel drive truck dust cover. And then when you tip this one up, you'll notice that this is cut off from the factory and you have four of the big holes instead of six. This is done this way because this is for full-size trucks, four-wheel drive and SUVs. This is for the mid-size or small-size trucks and SUVs so they can fit in that tighter space. <clears throat> Get off the couch and get dirty. Don't forget to share our videos. And also remember, sharing is caring.